A TUSD principal stunning announcement this morning while our camera was rolling. So I'm resigning after this year because um, I don't want to deal with that type of, of leadership. Charles Bermudez, principal of Booth Fickett, a K through eight Tucson Unified Magnet School is stepping down and blames the district. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Guy Atchley. And I'm Stella Inger. We were first to report last week complaints of rampant bullying and vandalism at Booth Fickett as the district moves to a more lenient code of conduct. It is the second school where severe discipline problems surfaced. At Secrets Middle School, the district removed the principal from the school last semester. Some parents, students, and staff at Booth Fickett blew the whistle this month, saying it's no different there. Nine Year Science Valerie Cavasso sat down one on one with the principal to get his reaction to the discipline problems. She joins us live now. Valerie. Yeah, so let me go down the list. Aggressive fistfights, students overtaking or walking out of classrooms, some verbally and physically attacking staff and students, rampant foul language, and vandalism. Now, I've spoken to parents, students, and teachers and received anonymous emails all describing disturbing behavior by some students. In a candid interview, Charles Bermudez told me, despite the claims of too many aggressive fights, students are safe at Booth Fickett. This is an absolutely safe campus. If it wasn't, I would tell you. I work for the community. I work for the board. I'm going to tell it like it is. He told me, yes, there is a severe discipline issue, but with only 2% of the 1,200 students, and they're primarily middle schoolers, who are taking advantage of the district's move to a more lenient restorative discipline policy where the restorative conversations don't work and those kids are sent back into the classroom and issues escalate. But we address them according to the policy. He admits those extreme behaviors have taken a toll on teachers. Some blame Bermudas for not supporting them when they ask for help, but Bermudas blames the district. What we do here is what they're asking us to do. Do you feel your hands are tied? I feel that we can be more effective with kids if the discipline policy uh, is tighter. And I think most parents believe that. And when a parent and three students stood before the governing board this month pleading for a change in the district's more lenient practices, he got a visit from a district cabinet member. After that parent went to the board meeting, a cabinet uh, administrator came up to me and said, uh, I hear you've been talking to a parent. And I said, I didn't even know the parent. And uh, so, so I'm resigning after this year because um, I, I don't want to deal with that type of, of leadership. Less than an hour after our interview, Bermudez announced his resignation to the staff. Kathleen Shep is the K-8 director addressing discipline issues. We haven't talked to all the teachers yet, but the plan is to come and talk to staff so that they can share their concerns. Now, Bermuda says he was only there since last year, um, and so this is his last year, so that's two years total. His last day is June 30th, and district tells me that they knew about his resignation. Back to you.